Welcome back. You're still on to Journalist Hangout. Now, the dates for the conduct of the 2023 elections have been given. What is next is the contestants and the platforms they will be using. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission has announced that only 18 political parties will take part in the elections. And the commission said it has closed the window for registration of new parties to take part in future polls. Asukwa, what do you make of this now? We have only 18 parties to take part in the next elections. What, let's get your reactions first. No, I, th I think it's um, is good now. So it's left for Nigerians because I was thinking at some point, because the way we are going, <laughs> I was thinking we will turn to India that has close to 2,000 <laughs> political <laughs> parties. <laughs> that will be using a exercise book, you know, when once you are looking for your political party, you start you flipping swipe. through and then looking for your political party that you turn print. <laughs> but, but thank God it's just 18. I, I never could be able to, you know, manage, you know, the balance sheet and know that, okay, this is the political parties and then Maybe nine here, nine here, and then everybody <laughs> will know. Because before it was so long, then you begin to wonder. Because most of those, they were just existing on the pages of newspaper and maybe in Abuja, filling mm. up spaces in Abuja. But now INEC has streamlined it, it into 18. So it means that people will start looking for alternatives if they want mm. from APC and PDP. So you shouldn't say it's just those two political parties. We now have it in. So go and look for So people should start <laughs> listening to, you know, watching and seeing the person that they want, not all the political parties that they want to follow. Mm. So that they won't say, hey, the APC has been ruling us for a very long time. Oh, PDP has been. No, it's not a thing. <laughs> so if it's SZP that you want to go, or it's the ADC, it's now there. <laughs> you know, and thank God that. When INEC opened, the, the window was open, and it, they are using the 2020 Electoral Act. You know, by then you are supposed to have registered a new pa political party. The new one starts immediately um, after the pre president signed. It means that anything after the before the president, anything after the president signed, you can't you know register another political party, which which makes a lot of sense. So. We are going to see a good contest, and the presidential election is like a year from now. Same with the governorship. So people should start thinking of the political parties that they will join. Mm. The people who are aggrieved, it's better they leave now. But you know, Nigerian politicians, they don't leave until when everywhere is scattered. That is mm. where they will start looking, for, shopping for political parties that they will go and, you know, vive, um um, support. support or even uh, con continue with their okay. ambition. Well, let's, let's see how it goes. INEC has, I think INEC is ready for this election because they were actually ready for the president to sign the electoral mm. um, um, uh, act, you know, for, for it to become law. Mm. So now that they've done that, I, I, can, see, I can see some level of changes in INEC. Right. And I, I must commend the INEC chairman right. because immediately that uh, bill was signed into law. A couple, a, after a day or two, he just had a press conference, gave up, issued a new set of um, timetable and schedule for, for, the, uh, for the activities, and that is what we have now. So we have a team. Mm. So people should know that we have a team political party, not 50 something again. And it's not even up to 88. It's 67 at the point. Huh? Yes. <laughs> you know, so now it's not, it's not long. We are not going to <laughs> look for Jota that will be <laughs> flipping through. So it's 18. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, that, that's, that's a plus. Although we have 18, as against 67, I think, about that number for last elections. But does it really change the fact that we have two dominant political parties in the country? Because, <laughs> yes, we have 18 political parties, but where are they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know them. <laughs> And interestingly, I'm just wondering, where will the third force be? It's because I've been hearing about third force mm. of recent, mm -hmm. and apparently the third force cannot register a new party no, now. No, they can't. They can't. So probably the third force will just pick out of the remaining system. Mm -hmm. uh, it has not changed anything. Mm -hmm. The two dominant parties, where whichever name they are called, has always been two mm -hmm. in this country. Right from 1999, yeah, when exactly. we... Exactly. NLCS. Yes, yeah. it's either this, AD, or whatever, ACN, or whatever. And uh, I also, I think... Um, PDP. We need to 
make that to be more robust. Mm. I think uh, these two parties sort of is, isn't good enough for us. Because if you look at it, why do you have um, 18 parties, for example, and at the end of the day, the National Assembly is filled with members of two major, major parties. parties. So what is the essence of having the other parties? Mm -hmm. You look at even the state, the local level, the same thing happens. So what is the essence of having all of these political parties, political parties the if they cannot pull their weight? Mm. Even if they cannot pull it well at the national level, what are they doing at, at the, the local, grassroots. at the state level? Mm. So I think uh, we need to move away from just having party for happy, having name, having party for party's sake then this issue of having parties around individuals we also need to address it because you look at some of these mm, political, political parties, parties yes you can only identify an individual mm -hmm. around them and when you remove that individual it's like the whole thing is gone mm. is that what a political party should be yes good that at least it has been reduced but i think INEC didn't just reduce it's a function of those who registered mm. and a function of those who registered at the appropriate time, time. Mm. that they ought to register. Mm -hmm. So because they had 18, they just had to go with the 18, 18 because they are the ones that were ready and they cannot take anything more because no, no, of the no. timetable. It has to be after this uh, next election mm. due to the new law that has been mm -hmm. passed. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, in all, our political parties should be more robust. Right. They should be more robust and they should, they should go for away from being centered around individuals. Look at uh, uh, Mogelu's party. Yeah, YPP. YPP, for example. Apart from him, I don't really know who else that you can yeah. mention. They have a fine, 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 if, fine, okay. yes, YPP. If I buy this. If I buy this, YPP. Where is uh, this guy? Um, uh, this entertainer that won and uh, nearly won at uh, it's uh, local government on the okay, uh, Banky w. Banky w. Banky w. W. which of the parties i think is the one that also popularized his own his own, yeah, his political, own parts, parts. political i don't know if it's too. going to come out mm. again and uh, so. then if it is also possible for even these mini parties to come together right. alliance. form alliance right. so that they can be stronger it won't be a bad Final idea. thoughts, Asuko. No, I, I, I want to, because so, so many people will say, ah, APC they, they and PDP, they keep calling those two political parties. But it's not about that. These are parties that they have structures everywhere. Right. So for you to win the national election or a mm. presidential election, you must have structures everywhere. It's not on Twitter right. or Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it is at the polling unit. Polling so unit. You, have, you have to know all the words in Nigeria. Visit all the words in Nigeria. Visit all the... Come, everywhere you have to be there. People must know you. Then they also know your political party and you sell your ideas to them. Yeah, if not... You will just be a political party on paper. And that's mm -hmm. a fine place to live mm -hmm. a gentleman. Thank you very much for your insights.